All right, what is up everybody? Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to uh, box fight a little bit better. Um, I get this question every single day. So yeah, I feel like I feel like I have some pretty good tips I could share with you guys. So uh, yeah. So let me just get started real fast. So the first tip, you always always make sure you get this first wall, all right? Now I know if you don't have the highest ping, you're probably not, or if you don't have the lowest ping, you're probably not gonna get it. Uh, so you. You want to make sure you uh, you want to make sure you get that first wall. So the way you do that is off the start. I don't know if I can do that with a physical wall because for PCs it's really hard to place things through walls. But you almost just want to you want to jump through it and hold it like that. See, just like that. You want to jump into the wall and place it when you're at the peak of your jump. So yeah, you want to jump into the wall. You want to be touching the wall and holding your wall button. It's it takes some getting used to, but eventually you'll be able to get it down every time. Alright, so the next thing I want you guys to get um, down into your brains, make sure you're placing cones in the bottom of every single box. Because you never know when you could use a cone. You could be boxed up, you could be looking at your enemy right here, go for a jump shot, re-edit, do something like that, and then uh, say you get him really low, so you would uh, place a wall right there, you can go out. You can edit the ramp to cover your body when you go for a push. I do this so much. Not only does it help you when you're doing, um, not only does it help you when you're doing your peanut butters, which is this right here. I'll teach you guys about this in a minute if you guys don't know about this. So yeah, not only does it help you with your peanut butters, um, because if you're standing on this uh, pyramid, it'll help your head hit the top of this faster, which then sends your body downwards faster. Whereas if there was none right here and I jumped, look how much longer I'm exposed for. So, yeah, you want to do that right there. Also, it helps just as a second layer of protection. If somebody was going to uh, try to break in from below, they have to break through the pyramid as well. Um, it's just an extra precaution. Uh, it's always good to take precautions in box fights. Um, if you don't have the best mechanics, the, the best way to do this is to play slow. But if you have really good mechanics, you have to play aggressive. If you have really good mechanics and say your aim is lacking or something like that, you gotta play aggressive, you gotta play aggressive, you gotta constantly try to take their walls, edit through, place a pyramid, edit back, maybe get peace control. You guys wanna get used to that, you guys wanna get used to taking walls, placing pyramids through walls, and then editing the wall shut. Placing a pyramid in somebody's box is the best. If you can, even take those walls around. Like, if they're just standing on a floor in front of a wall like this, with nothing surrounding them, there is no reason you shouldn't take this wall, and then cone and block them in entirely. And then you can then go for shots. You can do whatever you want. You can even edit through the bottom, edit them down go for a shot like that. There's so many possibilities with that. <clears throat> All right, so with uh, that out of the way, let's move on to the next thing. So uh, the next thing you're gonna wanna always make sure you're taking care of, um, you guys wanna get really good at ramp flipping. So say there's a ramp flip this way, and there's a guy chasing me, I'm boxed up, he just took this wall, I would place a ramp behind me right here, edit this backwards, block myself in. You guys want to get used to doing things like that. You can also do it with pyramids too, just like re-edit it in a way where it's covering your body. You guys always want to do that. You guys, want, when you're running away and you're weak, you gotta place ramps behind you, alright? Now I ran out of mats, but yeah. You always want to place mats behind you and, and do stuff like that. Now if you're playing passive, uh, you're probably gonna run out of mats really fast So the best part to do is just go all as far back into your builds as you can block all of it off Get as far back as you can you want to make sure everything is yours get as far back as you can You're gonna want to sit here and you can make yourself peanut butter peaks like this and uh, My favorite thing to do when I get a peanut butter peak is say there's an enemy right there I just I took his wall with my AR. I don't have mats take as well But I took his wall with my AR you're gonna hold your builds up and you're just gonna do top two rows like that and then, there you go, you get a free peek on it. Just jump up, you can get at least one free shot. By then, if all this belongs to you, he is so screwed. But most of the time, this wall is going to belong to him. He's just going to escape. But that is a free shot or two right there. That is, take advantage of that. You guys always want to be going for this wall. Take it, double edit, and then go for a shot. Now I'm going to get into how to counter the peanut butter edits. If your opponent is just camping behind this the entire, the entire time and you can't really do anything to stop it. Say you have an opponent that's just camping their peanut butter. So hard, man. They're just camping it over and over again. They're not leaving. There's nothing you can really do because like, oh, if you try to edit, they're just going to peanut butter peek you. If you try to go around, they're just going to peanut butter you. There's not much you can do. The 
The main thing you want to do is you want to sit back and you want to go for this top of the wall right there. Also, what you can do if they're not very good at peanut butter, say they don't have a cone on their floor or anything like that, and they jump, or if they jump like right here for their peanut butters, that's free damage right there. They're giving you a free damage. So if they do it to the corner, you probably can't, but if they do it right here, you can get free damage on them. So if they were to jump right there, what you could do is you would just crouch behind your wall like this, wait for them to jump, and since you're scoped in, you're going to do way more damage than they do, because look how big this crosshair gets when I jump. I'm only hitting them for like... 50 damage max when I do that, but when you do this, you can even hit 200 pumps sometimes. You can really do a ton of damage. Now, the main thing, so if you don't have fast mechanics, you want to practice to get fast mechanics in box fights. Fast mechanics are way better in box fights than they are in build fights. You want to get really good mechanics, so just just work on it. Do edit courses. Um, another thing I, I want to, I keep stressing this to people, whenever people ask me for tips, there's two layers to a box fight. There are two layers. Don't just get stuck up in this top layer and just keep taking damage and just have to run away to over here. No, you want to edit down, get away from them. And um, what my favorite thing to do is, this is my favorite thing to do. My favorite thing to do is when they're chasing me, I drop down and then I just go for them, edit them down right there, take a shot. Place a ramp, you can even box them in like that for Marvel Classic or something. There are so many possibilities, obviously, the main thing in box fighting is peace control. That is all you want right there. Peace control will win you almost every fight. If it doesn't come down to peace control, it's probably going to come down to a bloom battle, which you can get away from bloom battles by just getting away from them. Um, yeah. Also, I wouldn't recommend exploiting near somebody's box. I wouldn't do it, just because people hit 200 pumps every day. People are on 1 HP and they hit 200 pumps. That happens every single day. So, just be aware. Play smart. Don't jump in people's boxes unless you know that they're going to miss their shot. Don't do it, please. For the love of Ganji. I don't know who Ganji is, but, you know, for the love of him, please don't do it. It's it's not a good habit to get into, man. It's not a good habit. Also, you guys might want to use the Star Wand Axe because I feel like it gives you less delay. I feel like... I feel like I can edit way faster when I have the Star Wand Axe. I don't know. Maybe that's just a personal preference. I would personally use it though. Markle Swish. You should too. Markle's a very smart player. Um, yeah, that's... That's basically, like, that's the basics of box fighting right there. Well, that's more of an advanced tutorial. You want to just study. Go practice everything that I've told you in this video. Please, go practice it. Get a friend to box fight you. That's the best way to get better at box fighting. Watching these videos will get you better, but... Like, it's not going to do anything unless you put it to use, so you have to box fight people. Box fight people every day, all day, if you want to get better at it. That's how I got better at it. Choose people that are better. Uh, if you want, you can contact me or my team. You can get us 1v1 against any of us, or none of us are bad, so that'll get you some good practice if you want to go against us. It's really, it's, it's really good to practice. Just keep that in mind. I think that's about it. Oh, oh yeah, obviously, if you're on console, you can phase things through walls by jumping and holding things. If you're a console, please take advantage of that. It's so good. Say there's somebody camping in this box. They don't have a pyramid in their box. Just jump, place the pyramid in their box, edit through, go for a shot. Or if you don't want to go for the shot, just edit the pyramid. Do some weird trickery. Do some weird little, I don't know, and then edit and then go for a shot. I don't know, man. There's so many possibilities you can do with that. It's great. Also, come up with your own way to box fight, you know. I have my personal way of box fighting, which is I love me some peanut butters. I love to just sit here, take walls, edit these walls, go for a peanut butter shot. I like to also place pyramids in my things, just that way I can get weird angles on people. Maybe edit it like this. Well, I'm not used to editing while crouching. <clears throat> That's really what you want to focus on right there. You just want to focus on getting your own style of play. No two box fighters are the same. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, please, please, please let me know in the comments below. I will respond to every single comment. I always respond to every comment. Uh, let's get into my settings. So, uh, yeah, here are my senses right here. I like to play low sense. Low sense is way better in my opinion. So, uh, yeah, pause that at wherever you like. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm not going to ask for likes or anything because, honestly, I could really care less if you leave a like. Kidding, kidding, kidding. I'm starving here. Please. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. I swear to God, if you don't fucking like this video right now, I will kill you. Alright. With that being said, have a nice day.